Hi everyone, today, I'll show you how to install an 8 in for free and because Amazon Web Services AWS gives you a free trial for a year. Or even more than that if you use it within the limits. So, you have to be careful not to overload it. You can simply use it for your own purposes, like your social media automation, or anything like operating a fully automated YouTube channel or for lead generation for yourself. This will be enough. If you want to use it at a production or company level, like if you have millions of customers or you are operating millions of YouTube channels, then you'll need to upgrade your plan a little bit. But that is also cheap because AWS is a global level server, so it's no problem. So, let's get started. First, you have to sign up for AWS. So let's go to the AWS website. Now, click on the first link. OK. Now, sign up for this by creating a free account. So first, you have to create a free account. Give them your email and whatever else they need for verification. So first, create your account, and then we'll talk further, OK? Now, after you sign up, you will land on this page, the console home, or something similar. You don't have to do anything here. Just directly click on Egg2. If you don't find EC2 here, then go to the Services section, click All Services, and you will find EC2 there. So, click on Egg2, then you will come to your own EC2 server dashboard. As you can see, I already have an instance running, which means I already have an 8 and running for free. But for you, I will create another one now so that you can all see how to get this feature. So, to create a new instance, click on Launch Instances. Then you'll come to this page, let's name your instance, for example, an 8 and server. Like this. And here is the main part. You can use anything, but I prefer Ubuntu because it's much easier to install on and is very seamless. So, I prefer that you choose this. Alternatively, you can choose Amazon Linux. That's also good, but I prefer this one Ubuntu. So, make sure it says free tier eligible. That's all for this section. No need to change anything else. It's all perfect. Just scroll down. And here, under storage, set it to 30 gigabytes, which is the maximum for the free tier, so you can use it for free. Done. Now, you don't need to do anything else. Directly click launch instance. And now, for the key pair. If this is your first time using AWS, you'll have to create a new key pair. It's your choice. You can proceed without a key pair, or you can create a new one. I prefer to create a new key, like this. The options are the same. Just give it a name and download the file. This makes your instance secure. But I already have an existing key pair like this one, because I already created it before. So, you can create a new one first, or you can proceed without it. Let's do this. Now my instance is being created, so we have to wait a little bit. As you can see, my instance has launched, so, I'll go to it. Where is it? It's very simple, though, because it doesn't require much for basic users. Okay. Once it is running and the status shows running, you are good to go. Now, after this, click on it. First, copy this public IPv4 address. Okay. Then, click on connect. As you see, we are here. Click connect again. There's no need for any complex integration. This is a simple process. After you get here, I will give you some code like this, and you just have to paste it in. Copy this. This is the first command. Just paste it here, and it will start installing. So, type Y and press enter. Now, for the second one, we have to get that IP address again. And here, this is the second command, and you have to change this IP address here, and also here. Make sure you fill this in. The rest of the command will be the same. You can also change the port, but there's no need to, so then, copy it. This is the final command, so you can also use it to change the N8 inversion later, by editing this and redeploying the code in the same way. This is how you can update it. I will show you when the time comes. So, let's wait for this to finish, as you see, it's already done. So again, now paste the second command, so, let's copy this command and paste it here. Now you can see it will start the process. It is installing an 8 in on your AWS server. So now you might be asking how to access an 8 in Don't worry, I'll show you. So after this, you have to do just one more thing. Come back here to the instance details. Go to the security tab. Click on the security groups, 
edit the inbound rules. Here, you have to change the type to all traffic. For production use cases and I hope you are using this for production and want to earn money this is for you. Click save rules. Okay, now, go back to the terminal. If you see this is completed, then head back to the instance details page and copy this public IPv4 address again, and paste it into your browser. As you can see, it's an HTTP request, which will show a not secure warning, but that doesn't matter because this is your own server. So, you can proceed. You see the setup owner screen. You are now the owner, you have to set this up, and then you're good to go.